Hello everyone and welcome to the forexboat.com. Once again, Victor with you here and today another weekly example and the trade idea. We will see our previous examples as well as the new trade idea for the current week. First of all, to remind you that all the information here is purely for informational purpose only uh, and should not be considered as a financial advice. I would like now to jump in on our previous ideas that we had. Uh, you know that we on the Euro GBP we have reached the target. That was a good trade. Now we had also another three trades, which was gold, Euro Swiss franc, and GBP Australian dollar ideas. Uh, let's start with GBP out since it was the first idea, the oldest. I mean, what has happened? We had an idea that market might potentially reverse and. Uh, we were expecting uh, this sort of move. I was expecting this four hour candle to hold. If, uh, if, if it's not, then we are out. So four hour candle did close. So that would be the exit signal for this trade. You can see how uh, market, how volatile it was actually. But on the daily chart, it's still holding this area. So it is still, I think, will reach the target. The re-entry of the short trade is possible to, to get back the loss. So I would actually go short at this level, more or less here, with a stop loss at around 2.05 uh, and to, to actually test the target. And this idea could be still valid. But it's out, it's in the past, we will see how it goes. Just forget about it. I just wanted to just give you my thoughts on this pair. Now, the next one was Euro Swiss franc. On the Euro Swiss franc, we were talking about the sell area at 0 0.570. Uh, currently price is slightly below, the week has passed, but you can see it just, it just at the same spot, basically. If we zoom it in, it can be seen that it's just very wide range trading. I think it still can reach the take profit, so I would hold it for now, perhaps move the stop loss tighter at 1.0650 area and still wait for the target. Now, and finally, gold, this was last idea we had last week, actually, and it was a buy. Uh, if you remember, we're expecting this sort of move. And what has happened, look, just today, price has finally started to move after really, really long uh, consolidation. Well, not long, but still, it was entire week. It was just going back and forth. Our stop loss, we suggested, if you uh, just rewatch the video, uh, it was if the price closes on the four-hour chart below 14.64. So we we did hold this area. Price didn't manage to close below. There was. Um, a lot of moves here back and forth, but nevertheless, it failed to close below. And the stop loss, I was thinking about this low, just place it below, but exit signal actual would be the four hour close below this low. So it's still holding and the price actually is moving up. So expect further uptrend. But first guys, this, this moving average can act a resistance. So it could be a profit taking a level and here stop loss could be placed at break even if you initiated the long trade. Now let's move to the uh, euro Australian dollar hour trade for this week. We will start on the weekly chart. I like long term analysis and what we see is a clean bounce of 861.8 FIPS applied to the corrective wave down after 200 exponential moving net average breakout. This is a very good indication that the trend might be going down. And along with the GBP out, euro out is also seems to be going down. And this is actually could be the Australian dollar strength. It could be rising. It could be gaining in uh, relation to other currencies. And on weekly, I like this a lot. So I move to the four hour chart here. What we can see 38.2 FIPS, clean bounce. Excellent. Just perfect. Uh, we produced a spike higher, but failed to close. Only if price closes uh, on four hour chart above 1.8746, I would be considering strongly to exit the trade. And for now, this is a good entry time for shorting. I think it should produce the potentially double bottom at this price. 
Now on the one hour chart, this is what I expect from the Euro Australian dollar. Now look, I have applied simple FIBS uh, to correct your wave up after the nine uh, moving uh, moving average breakout. This is a nine period simple moving average breakout. You can see, and here is my target 261.8 FIBS. I applied another FIBS to this corrective wave up after the strong rally down, and it corresponds to 88.6 FIBS. So this area at 1.8130 is the profit taking zone and stop loss obviously above 8860 where we had a previous support level this is now the resistance you can see price rejected it here and i do expect it to go down it could consolidate for a few days but don't think for long and along with the gbp australian dollar it should be moving down finally 15 minute chart you can see the descending channel price nearly nearly hit the upper trend line but it broke uh, below the uptrend trend line it rejected it multiple times you can see right here rejection rejection and here final rejection it started to produce lower lows as well you see it's almost a double top here although the previous uh, next uh, high here is lower than the previous one so lower lows lower highs good indication that the uh, trend will be going down so it's a good correction i would expect it to test 1.8130 that is about 400 pips from the current level so that's it for today i hope you like the video if you do don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for the next idea for the next week take care guys and happy trading to all